Hello everyone, and welcome to a Fair Hill Equity all about the leather community. Hi, I'm Angelique Glenna. And I'm John C. Lona. In this video, we will be talking about the leather community. The leather community is a loosely based community composed of individuals and groups who typically wear leather accessories and garments such as leather pants, leather jackets, um, chaps, and harnesses. Today the community is composed of people of every gender and race. They often hold events raising thousands of dollars for charities each year. Yet it remains one of the most misunderstood segments of our population. It's often seen by those not in the community as a world solely made up of sex, role play, and BDSM. And it is so much more than that. The leather community of today has its roots in the era following the end of World War II. Many gays in the military were given blue discharges, which is neither honorable nor dishonorable. The blue discharge became the method of choice for commanders seeking to remove homosexual service members from their ranks. Once discharged, many gay servicemen missed the camaraderie and the community and the structure that was provided by the military. So they gathered in large cities such as Los Angeles, Chicago, and San Francisco. These groups provided both camaraderie and a safe haven for the men. Being gay at the time was dangerous and engaging in gay activities was still illegal in most states. Believe it or not, it wasn't until 2003 that laws against sodomy were declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. Eventually the groups became the leather community. Now the leather look was definitely influenced by the 1953 film, The Wild One, starring Marlon Brando. He did look good. Years later, members of the leather community were involved in the start of the gay rights movement. At the New York Stonewall Riots of 1969, it was members of the leather community that stood with drag queens and other members of the community to well, stand up against the abusive police at the time. Within two years of the riot, Gay rights groups have been starting in nearly every major city in the United States. This kicked off the modern day LGBT rights movement. So you may be asking yourself, what is all the leather about? Well, besides looking cool, which it does, uh, in the community, each piece of leather has a special significance. The leather community governs itself in its own structures and traditions. It's primarily based on respect and consent. Now, of course, you can buy leather in many stores and no one can stop you from wearing it. But in the community, each piece of leather is earned, which is usually for something like giving back to the community. Typically, a new member would start by being mentored in the culture and protocols of the community. As they progress, pieces of leather are awarded by an existing member to recognize a member's actions of service. The cap is the pinnacle piece denoting the honorable title of master. So why do people join the leather community? Well, there's many reasons why people would join the community. Friendship, common interest, mentorship, structure, and in some cases, even family. Although many parts of the community are involved in the practice of BDSM, this is not the community's primary focus, or is it a requirement? So where can you find the leather community? Well, the Eagle is a name used by many gay bars. The Eagle is not a franchise or even a chain, but rather a name adopted, inspired by the Eagle's Nest, a leather bar in New York City. Bars that use the name Eagle typically cater to a clientele of those in the leather community or with other kink subcultures. You may also find many annual events and conferences held all over the country, or you could just Google Led the community charity event to get a list of events near you. On a personal note, although we don't consider ourselves members of the leather community, our experience with them has been extremely positive. They truly have been one of the most welcoming, respectful, and non judgmental groups of people we have ever met in our travels. If you enjoyed today's quickie, please remember to like and subscribe for our weekly updates on Fairville University's YouTube channel. See you Bye. next time. Bye.